Hello everyone, I am here to give a presentation on our project which is known as IoT based soil quality determination which will be carried out by our group members Abhijit Dev, Vishwajit Roy, Pranamita Das and myself Parvish Hussain under our project guide Dr. Punendu Vikas Acharji sir. So as we know the Indian economy is basically dependent on farming and climate condition so our project is mainly based on the development of agriculture cultivation area. To organize our plantation criteria, we need to determine the adequate amount of nit nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium which are the nutrients of the soil and also the pH value of the soil so that we can improve the quality of, this, of the crops as well as the fertility of the soil. Improper use of fertilizers in turn results into poor quality of fruits, vegetables and even their quantity. So to fulfill the increasing demand of the growing population over the years, we need to increase our food production system also. So in our project, we will be studying about the actual detection of NPK values of the soil using a color sensor. Before initiating our project, we have gone through some literature reviews also. And from those literature papers, we have got the observation that measurement of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium contents of soil is necessary to decide how much extra contents of the nutrients are to be added to the soil in order to increase the crop fertility. This improves the quality of the soil which in turn gives good qualities of crops. In the, pre in the present work, color sensors have been developed to determine NPK values in the soil. Colorimetric measurement of aqueous solution of soil has been carried out. Here are some functional requirements like the ability to read soil nutrient values with real-time results, easy handling, usable over several seasons. The system must provide easy and fast access without consuming more cost. User should never be surprised by the behavior of the system, which means it's, it must be easy to use. And some non-functional requirements are usability, availability, maintainability, security and reliability. Now we will talk about some application development environment and the technology we are using. Like what is Arduino? Arduino is an open source electronic platform based on easy to use hardware and software. Arduino boards are able to read input lights on a sensor, a finger on a button or a Twitter message and turn it into an output and the reasons why we are using Arduino are it is inexpensive, cross-platform, simple, clear programming environment, open source and extensible software, open source and extensible hardware. We will be using this Arduino Uno in our project and the key features of Arduino Uno are it has 16 MHz crystal oscillator, operating voltage is 5 volt. An external micro SD card is supported. This board comes with a built in feature of voltage regul regulation, and moreover, it has a flash memory of 13 KB used to store a number of instructions in the code, SRAM of 2 KB, as well as 1 KB of EP ROM. And here we can see the art architecture of the Arduino Uno microcontroller board. And this is the Arduino software which we, which we will be using in our project. For our uh, project to go on, we will be using Windows operating system and Arduino IDE software as well as Arduino Uno with TCS3200 color recognition sensors. So here is a screenshot of our output results. Now moving to methodology, we can see the hardware specification as well as the software we, we need and the hardwares are Arduino Uno board, color recognition sensors, PC system and PA sensor and the software we need is the Arduino IDE software. So here is the color sensor and the color sensor is generally used for the recognition of the color mark detection. Sensors color recognition are required to detect the filter, the true color and identify the sample of NPK solution and further matches with the RGB light. The reason why we are using TCS3200 instead of TCS3210 is that TCS3200 has 8 into 8 area of photodiodes in comparison to TCS3210 which has only 4 into 6 area of photodiodes. So it means that uh, the TCS3200 will capture more photodiodes from the objects. The sensor works by shining a white light into an object then recording the, then recording the reflected light through the RGB color filters. So as we can see here are some NPK capsules which we will be using in our project. This is the architecture of the connection of the Arduino boards along with the color sensors. So this is the estimated cost we have discussed and in our future scope we will add a pH sensor to our project which will be used to determine the pH level of the soil. As we know every crop has a different pH level 
for its growth so here we can see the pH sensor and here are some pH requirements of the commonly grown vegetables so in the conclusion I would like to say that our project has some important features like by determining the NPK values we will be able to understand the fertility of the land for growing essential crops using the pH sensor we will be able to determine the nature of the land both NPK values and the pH values can be used to find the best suitable land for growing good qualities of crops our project thus resembles the IoT based features which can be further utilized for future enhancement in agriculture sector thank you here is the demonstration of our project we have used different color samples to determine whether the NPK nitrogen phosphorus potassium is high medium or low at the same time it is also displaying on the serial monitor